Hello, welcome to MusingTube. From a futurist dreaming of a whole new city that integrates the best of science and technology while helping improve society, to already underway projects bringing the first self-sustaining cities of tomorrow here today. This is the top five self-sustaining city concepts. Number five, Arcansanti. Italian architect Paolo Soleri developed the concept of arcology, which combines architecture and ecology. In 1970, the Cosanti Foundation began building Arcansanti, an experimental town in the high desert of Arizona. Since its inception, the Arcosanti project has gone through numerous design changes. It is an urban laboratory attempting to test and demonstrate alternative human habitats. Paolo has created a master plan called Arcansanti 5000. It features layers of superstructure soaring over the existing site. This will provide the facilities needed to support a population of 5,000 inhabitants. Number four, City Sand Tower. French firm OXO and its partners have produced an ambitious concept for a new style of desert living. They're proposing a vertical city in the form of a sustainable 1,400 foot tall tower to be built in a Moroccan section of the Sahara. The city would contain residences, offices, conference and sport facilities, shops, a hotel, a restaurant and a bar, an observatory and museum. Due to the efficiency of this design, Along with self-sustaining technologies, the city can even generate its own power, collect rain, and grow food. They would like the project to start construction in the year 2025 and phase it over 50 years. Number three, lily pad. The floating acopolis, or lily pad as it's commonly called, is designed by Vincent Calabou, an architect from Belgium. The CIEC has forecasted rising water levels this could affect many countries and islands in the Pacific Ocean. This model provides a solution for long-term refugees displaced as a result. The capacity of this shelter will give 50,000 individuals a floating city to call home. Lilypad will develop fauna and flora in a central lagoon of soft water where it can collect and purify rainwater. This man-made lagoon is completely immersed, making the city stable allowing for life in the subaquatic depths. The programming is multifunctional, based on mountains and three marinas. It's solely dedicated specifically to the workshops and entertainment. At this time, there are no plans to build the city. Number two, Mazdar City. Mazdar City broke ground in 2008, becoming one of the few projects to go beyond the planning phase. This city is located in Abu Dhabi, it strives to develop the world's most sustainable eco-city. Energy is generated on-site from solar rooftops, and narrow shaded streets help capture pervading winds, keeping the city cooler. Walking and cycling is prioritized in the city, but there's a variety of electronic-powered public transportation options, such as light rail and automated pod cars. Currently, only a few thousand people are living in Mastar City, but when it's complete, it will house 40,000 people. Number one, the Venus Project. The Venus Project is the vision of futurist Jaco Fresco and one of the biggest ambitious self-sustaining city design concepts of all time. Their website states, the Venus Project reflects the culmination of Mr. Fresco's life work, the integration of the best of science and technology into a comprehensive plan for a new society based on human and environmental concern. It is a global vision of hope for the future of humankind in our technological age. The Venus Project calls for change in our society and culture, not just a great design concept for sustainable cities using the best technology available. Which city would you live in? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed and want to see more, leave a like and subscribe to the channel.